Hi, I'm Tracy DeVal from Thor Motor Coach. And I'm Steve DeVal from Thor Motor Coach, and you're in the Mobile Meals Kitchen. That's right, we're gonna make monkey bread today, and I think there are a lot of different recipes for this, but ours is the easy way. Right, and ours uses only the freshest monkey available in stores <laughs> today. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> gotta give the kids nightmares. No, so this is actually really, really easy. Just a couple ingredients. We have sugar, cinnamon, brown sugar, using some rolls. Especially if you're on vacation, you don't want to fuss, right? You right. want it to be as few ingredients as possible, and you don't want to carry a lot of tools, so this is a good recipe All for right, that. So, first thing you do is you take a roll of your muffins. Yeah, I the, love this noise. Right? The first trick is to get these open. All right, so I will cut these into quarters. All right, he's going to start cutting those. And then when I cut them, you will be the shaker. That's right, and what, what is in here is cinnamon um, and sugar. And we're going to have the whole recipe for you at the end. Uh, so bear with us there. But yeah, super simple. So we just have the, the sugar and the cinnamon mixed together in here. And then the best thing we found is to take, when you put these into quarters, a lot of people just kind of spoon the cinnamon sugar mixture over. But if you take and you actually shake it, it just, a little, it just coats it a lot more. And then we have a nice sauce that we've made with butter and uh, brown sugar. Here you go, let's put all these Do you in. put them all in at yeah, the same time? Oh, I thought same. you One wanted them individually. One can them. at a time. Okay. And then you shake them, and then while you shake and put them into our greased, and you can use it, whatever can type you of use pan a different you pan. We'll, don't want we'll be honest, we've, we've had nightmares with this pan. I wouldn't call it a nightmare. I would just call it um, because all of our the yeah, house. all of our sauce <laughs> seeped out the bottom because it's yeah, and it was all through the house, the smell and but you know what? We make those mistakes at home, so we don't subject you to them. We want to perfect it. <laughs> all right. Once those all are right. shaken, you drop them into the pan there. All right. Well, that worked out well. Yeah. We can keep up with this. If you have a family, you like quick and easy, and we have some kind of family favorite recipes that we take even to, you know, the school picnic or things that you need to take something to. And quite honestly, you don't have a lot of time. I mean, who has a lot of time? But yet, you don't want to just go to the grocery store and buy something. You want to, you want to make it look like you made a big effort, right? You do. Like we slaved away all day in the kitchen to bring this. Um, and this is kind of one of those recipes that's so quick going together, um, but and and looks awesome and tastes awesome, but you really didn't work all that hard. Exactly. One thing you can do uh, if you really like to goop it up a lot, the sauce is butter and brown sugar. If you double it or triple it, you can put in a layer of dough, a layer of sauce, Ooh. layer of dough, layer of sauce, kind of like a monkey bread lasagna. All right. And that's when you'll need to call in the monkey lawyers, which was kind of, I'll tell the story of a buddy, Ken. We just came up with this. There was some story years and years ago. And I said, you know, it'd be great, Ken. What if we started a law firm, but we only represented monkeys? And then it turned into a whole thing. In fact, I'll show you a picture of our slogan here. <laughs> See, look at that. It says, and it's, it's the best slogan ever. I think we got something. There are no small cases, only small monkeys. So that became yeah. a pretty big joke. It became with a really big two. thing. So, but no monkeys were involved in the filming of this episode. All right. All right. So we get this all in here. I have our sauce right here. It is brown sugar and butter. There's another recipe that I have that uses a sauce like that. That's really good. It's a um, like a homemade trail mix. Oh, it's so good. You know the one I'm talking about. Yeah, it's been years since. Yeah, we, it's been a really long time because we try to eat healthier. We try. We try, it's hard. That it's help. not healthy, no. Just throw those in randomly. No. Oop, I completely <laughs> missed. That's all right. When they're not coated completely, I always well, stick them back in. Put them back in. That. that looks pretty good. All right, you know what we could do? I wonder what would happen if we add a part of the bird. So you pour on your sauce. Okay. Just like that. Get that all worked in there. And then we are going to go ahead and put this in the microwave. And while this cooks, let's it out to a wart across the street from the University of Notre Dame to whip up a classic cocktail. Hi there, my name is.
name is Kelsey. Today we're gonna to be making an Aurora Old Fashioned. What you're gonna do is get a pint glass. You're gonna start by muddling an orange and a cherry in simple syrup, which is a sugar-based water. And then you're gonna grab your favorite whiskey or bourbon. We typically like to use Maker's Mark. You're gonna pour roughly about two ounces into the mixture with the oranges and the cherries. And then you're going to add some ice to it. You're gonna add a splash of sweet vermouth. And then you're going to take a long spoon and you're going to stir the mixture together. And then over fresh ice, you're gonna put it in your small rocks glass. And then drain it over your fresh ice. And then you're going to garnish it with an orange and a cherry. And there's your old fashioned. Thanks, Kelsey. I think our monkey bread is ready to come out of the microwave. Mm. Ready? Yeah. All righty. Here we go. You want to grab, watch your head there. Ooh, piping hot. Oh, yum. Look at that. Mmm. Oh, that's going to be hot. It is going to be hot. I'd rather almost have a glass of milk than a glass of milk. <laughs> Sugary. You can't go wrong with that. It's nice and gooey. And then if you want it a little firmer in the middle, you can throw it in a little longer. This is nice and mm. soft and gooey on the inside. Mm. A plus. I plus. can see if I plus. can throw one. <laughs> Not that one. Oh, I was going to take and see if I could get Tom's mouth from oh, Yum. Wow, that is good. The entire recipe is at the end of this segment. This is great. That's right. Yeah, thanks for being here. you got to try this. We'll see you next time on Mobile Meals.